What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark88. We out here sitting down, hair looking rough, but fuck it. But yeah, this video we talking about, I don't know if y'all been watching the news. I don't really watch the news much, but one of my homies on the gram, he put me on. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to dude. He he posted this thing about the, uh, the plague of uh, grasshoppers that were in Las Vegas. I don't know if you guys have seen it. But basically, I'm going to link some videos in the description. So if you haven't seen it, you can click on that after you watch this video. So basically, we you know Las Vegas, Sin City, it was just stormed with these, with these bugs, with these insects all over. You know what I'm saying? People were just looking at them like, damn, this is crazy. It's a, it's a bunch of news reports. And of course, everything on the news, they're going to be like, oh, there's nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is perfectly fine. All the... What's the, what's the bug doctors or entomologists or whatever? Everybody's talking about it's going to be fine. I mean, of course they're going to say that. They have to reassure you. You know what I'm saying? On the news, it's a mass media platform, so they have to reassure the mass that everything's going to be okay. But they should, they know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They even made hints at it of being, uh, like in the biblical times, like in the book of Exodus. I don't know if you read it. You know, you may not be the most religious person, most spiritual person. But at the end of the day, the Bible is a book. You know what I'm saying? If you if you thrive off self-education and just and learning in general, just because you don't believe it, I don't feel like you should dismiss that book. You know, there's a lot of stuff we have read in our life that we may not believe in, but how you know it's not going to suit you if you don't look into it? You can't really go off other people's opinion. But basically, with with these bugs, you know what I'm saying? Of course, they're going to call them grasshoppers. In the Bible, it was called they were called locusts. Same family, same thing. They all in it all it's all the same thing. And you know, in that book they were talking about Let My People Go. I know a lot of you people they know the song Let My People Go. And you know God had he set off these ten plagues. You know, the plague of the livestock, the flies, I think it was the water turned to blood, you know, the plague of darkness. Read into it, you know, a lot of you may have seen some movies when you were younger of this stuff like that. Because all this information is hidden in plain sight. All of this information is right in front of your face. And it may not seem like the end times. You know, they've been saying we've been living in the end times forever, for a long time. But shit, it's not up to us to determine what the end times are. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just here for the ride, you feel me? We, we just really here for the ride to enjoy. And I, I'm not telling y'all this stuff to have y'all worry. You know, I'm telling y'all to put y'all on. If you, if you know it, fine. You know what I'm saying? But I make these videos for people who don't know. And for the people who do, who just want something to be sparked in their mind. Like, I just make it for my people watching it, you know? And that's really all it is. Like, looking into it, they have this pyramid, you know, in Vegas. It's a hotel. It's called the Luxor Hotel. So it's basically like a pyramid, and it's this light shooting up into the sky. So basically, this light, you can see it from everywhere. If you're a pilot, you can see it. If you're on a plane, you can see it. You know, you can see it if you, even if you're in L.A. at nighttime. You just got to look. If you're, close, if you're close enough, you'll be able to see it. And you just seen all the, all the locusts, grasshoppers or whatever, you know, just storming and going to that light. And it looks just like it's almost like a parallel, exact parallel to what was going on in the book of Exodus, end times for real. Like, all I can really say about that, you know what I'm saying? I can't really say too much, because shit, what am I gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? We not, we can't do nothing about it because what's gonna happen is gonna happen. The bad stuff in life is gonna happen, and then the good stuff in life is gonna happen as well. We only can control what we can control, you know? Uh, we, only can, we only can control ourselves, you know? We only can control how we act and treat and interact on our day-to-day -day lives. If we out here sinning, doing all this bad stuff, you know what I'm saying, treating our people wrong, ain't nobody perfect, but hey, we gotta, we gotta stop being so-called woke, you know what I'm saying, and I'm one of them, you know? But instead of being woke, I've leaned more towards being aware. They're two different things, you know what I'm saying? So like, really understand that. If you don't understand anything from this video, woke and being aware are two different things. Two, two completely different things. You gotta decide which one you wanna be. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I said in my last video, when you when you elevating and getting to a certain level of consciousness, you're gonna start losing friends. You know, people are gonna start calling you, oh he's weird, she's weird, whatever. Okay, your point. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think, you know what I'm saying? But with all this stuff going around, I'm gonna keep this video short, but with all this stuff going on, you know, just be on the lookout. You know what I'm saying? Look into that book and see what's up. Look Look into these other things, you know, because there were plagues of there was plagues of crickets, grasshoppers, you name it, in the 1930s. You know what I'm saying with the depression. So shit, hey, maybe, maybe you know, since Sin City, Vegas is the gambling scene with all that money and stuff like that. This the this plague is also depicting the end times, and maybe it's also depicting a near depression coming towards us. You know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff, you know, reading into it, saying that a depression is coming to America again. And, you know, slavery's over. You know, it's time to let my people go. You know, they did it back then. But look, we've been under slavery for a long time in America. And not just America. You know, it's other slaves out there too, but we're just primarily talking about America right now. Just think about it. I'm not really gonna get too, too deep in, too deep into it, too political. Cause I just woke up from a nap. I got a bunch of video ideas. I'm gonna crank out for you guys. But yeah, look into that. Uh, and comment, look, comment what you think. Comment below what you think about the end times. Man, these squirrels going crazy. Comment what you think about the end times. You feel me? Comment what you think about these, uh, the locust grasshoppers or whatever you wanna call it. Look into it. Don't just take what I'm saying. Don't just take what the news is saying to you and let that shit bounce off your head like a fucking trampoline. Look into it. Do your own research because it's going to come a time and shit. We ain't going to be able to. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come a time. Now, if you don't care, that's fine. But if you do, you know what you got to do. Mark, I did. We out.